Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today, we're making chicken zucchini casserole. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Elise. And usually you just see me on the YouTube, but now the sisters are joining me. So we're so excited <laughs> to have her here. So we love sharing easy, simple recipes with you guys. We've had our website since, what, 2011? Yeah. And I think we've shared over 3,000 recipes. But we jumped onto YouTube to show you Instant Pot recipes, but now we're gonna start incorporating a lot of other Some easy Some of recipes. our favorites. Exactly. So the recipe we're making today is our chicken zucchini casserole, and our sister Camille has a killer garden. Her husband's a gardener. They're way into it, and every year she's like, please take some of my zucchini, and they're like oh, massive. I wish I had that zucchini. problem. I think I have like black thumbs. Or... <laughs> I kill potted plants. <laughs> Me, too. Me too. But she's, she was looking for a recipe to use all her zucchini, so we've got zucchini bread recipes. We have a ton of zucchini recipes on the site. But this is one of our absolute favorite zucchini recipes. And not only that, like our audience loves this recipe. I think it's one of our most popular ones. Yeah, it's been our top recipe for a couple months for good reason. It's right? easy. You'll see the ingredients. It's super simple ingredients, but it's so good. Even our picky eaters love it. Exactly. My kids don't even realize that they're eating zucchini as they're eating this recipe. All right, so we're gonna first cut up about four zucchini. Now, if you love zucchini and you want more, you, you can always make it with like six zucchini, but we like about four because it's it's pretty even. And you you do the chopping. Okay, I can I'm do that. Tell you guys. So Kristen was talking about how we're all about easy dinner, and so a couple years ago we decided we need to make dinner time easier for everybody. And the hardest part about dinner, at least for us, is we've each got four kids. Life is crazy. Right. We work. Our husbands work. We thought we need to make dinner time easy for other moms or busy parents, working parents. So we developed a program, it's a menu plan program, and every week we send out a new menu plan, tells you exactly what recipes to make for the week, and then you'll get a recipe with a picture. With a picture, so we'll show you what it's <laughs> gonna look like in the end. You'll get main dish recipes, side dish recipes, dessert recipes, new recipes every single week, and then it comes with a detailed shopping list down to like the half teaspoon. And let me tell you, I hate menu planning. Like I hate it. But if you I can have on Pinterest all day looking right? for what recipes to make. I mean, even if it's just for some ideas and then making my shopping list since it comes with the shopping yeah. list, it's like, okay, so I I get the email, I print this out and I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm ready for the week. Or if you're like I've already got all these spices. You can take those off your shopping list. Oh. We've had people cut their grocery bills completely in half because Seriously? they're not throwing all this extra stuff in their carts or they do the online grocery shopping and make it that much easier. So that's at sixsistersmenuplan.com. We can put a link to that. There's sample plans there, so you're, you can check those out, try them. We have five different plans available. I think my favorite one is the healthy one. We're trying to yeah. eat a little bit healthier. So there's actually, so there's, what, let me get this right. So there's a small healthy one, mm -hmm. and then there's the, the large family yeah. healthy one. These so six to eight people are regular healthy plan. Okay. Every recipe is 500 calories or less. It ah. has the nutrition info. And yeah, just makes dinner time that much easier. Because awesome. that's the last thing we need is to worry about what's for dinner. <laughs> exactly. Well, Kristen's chopping now. I'll show you the topping that goes on this chicken zucchini casserole. So you're just gonna use a package of stovetop stuffing mix. We're using the chicken flavor. But chicken. I mean, you can use turkey too. I kind of just. The savory one's really good too. They just oh, have one that's not. I didn't know they have meat one. Meat flavored, so. Whole box of that, obviously uncooked. And then we've got a half cup of melted butter we're just pouring on top. Okay. So this will be, this doubles as the topping for the casserole, as well as a thickener in the casserole itself. So just mix that together. And then you're gonna set aside about a half cup of this stuffing and butter to sprinkle on top. Okay, you wanna just put it in there? Awesome. Okay, so I finished up cutting the zucchini. Now I like to cut it in about bite size like bite size, yeah. so my kids can eat it and not have a huge chunk of zucchini in their mouth. So, okay, zucchini's done. Put that aside, okay, what's next? So we're just gonna mix everything in one large bowl. So okay. the zucchini Kristen cut up How are we gonna going do this? We're gonna do it this way. There we go, and pour I'll that just in. Just manhandle it. I like it. Catch it. Ah. <laughs> we'll miss half, that's okay. It's, it's all mixing back. together. And then I'm gonna add the stuffing mixture that remains after I set that half cup aside. Perfect. You're gonna want a large bowl. We're gonna be pushing 
Yeah, this one's going to be it with us. a little overflowing, but that's okay. And then we've got one half onion that's just been diced. Now, if you love onions, you can add a whole onion, but my kids kind of struggle, yeah. so we're, we're gonna making go this onion. for the kids. We're exactly. catering to the kids. And then three chicken breasts that have been cooked and shredded or diced. Now you can go the cheater route and get like the rotisserie chicken. Yes. They even make rotisserie chickens that are already cut and shredded for mm -hmm. you. I love getting those when they're available. All right. Kristen actually made this in the Instant Pot. I did, I cooked my chicken <laughs> in the Instant Pot this morning. And then right. we're doing a half cup of shredded mozzarella. Now the mozzarella is not in the recipe, but I like to add a little cheese. Add a little flavor mm -hmm. to it. And then we had a half cup of sour cream. So really, this is low fat, low calories. It's not really. <laughs> Good but the hearty kids will comfort eat it. food that your picky eaters will like. And then just one can of cream of chicken soup, right? All right, do you want to get that spoon for me? Yeah. So we're just going to mix this together. Nice. In our too small of bowl. Very, very carefully. Do you want to do it or do you want me? I trust you. Oh, guys, guys. <laughs> So sometimes when I am in a big hurry, I'll actually spray my pan, dump everything in the pan and mix it in the pan, just so it's one less bowl I have to do. And this is a recipe you could make ahead of time. A lot of time I'll get my dinner all prepped while my kids are at school or a toddler's napping. Yeah. Get it to this point before it's baked and just stick it in your fridge and then you could throw it in at dinner time. So your oven would be preheating to 350 mm -hmm. and then it cooks for 40 to 50 minutes. So plan accordingly as to how much time you need to get it. Right, get it and I love this too because it usually, so I have a family of six. I have four little girls and a husband who eats for like three people. Yeah. But this will feed us twice. Like, yeah. I love having the leftovers of it. And it's filling enough, like you've got a vegetable, you've got protein, some carbs. It's some the goodness. Trifecta. There we go. All right, the struggle is real here, but we're getting it. It's okay. And it all it kind of melts together it when it bakes. That it's this is a super forgiving recipe. If you're just starting out cooking, this chicken zucchini casserole is quick, easy. It's a crowd pleaser. I like to make this and give it to people when they have babies or people in the neighborhood who need a meal. Yeah. This is a good meal to bring to people. Okay, I'm gonna give you the spoon and I'm gonna hold the bowl. So we're just putting it in the pan that's been sprayed with the nonstick cooking spray and then spread it out. Yes. And then that half cup of topping you reserved. Oh yeah, the stuffing. The stuffing and butter is just gonna go right on top. Thank you. And this will make like a nice, crunchy, crispy topping. Now if you could also save the cheese and put the cheese on top and then the stuffing, oh, or you can incorporate that. the cheese in like we did, so. Yeah. Either way, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Can't go wrong. All right, we're gonna stick this in the oven for about 45, 40 minutes. 50 minutes. Uncovered, 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so cooked in the oven for about, what, 40 minutes or 40 so? 40 minutes at 350. Nice, oh, and okay, let's check the zucchini. Yeah, zucchini is like perfectly done. I love and how it's, oh, sorry. Look how it's not soggy, because typically when you cook with zucchini, it gets really soggy, but the stuffing just soaked it all up. Perfect ah. consistency. There you go. I love it. Now this is one recipe my kids Love. Now, this recipe is also on our menu plan, right? Yes. So this is on from our standard menu plan, tried okay. and true family recipes. You can view a sample plan of that at sixsistersmenuplan.com and get more information about what types of recipes are on there. But the most important part is that it's easy recipes anybody can make and help you get dinner on the table. Right. The goal is just to make our lives and your <laughs> lives easier, right? Now, if you want this recipe, we'll put a link in the description for you. You can find this recipe on our menu plan at sixsistersmenuplan.com. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm curious. Like, zucchini is our favorite. What? Um, I would love to hear one of your favorite zucchini recipes and what you're making this fall with all the zucchini. Yes, <laughs> your favorite. All right, we will see you guys next week.